News breaking news, everyday news on Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Today is the first of uh, May, uh, 2022. Is um, International Workers Day, and it is what I shine in us. How are you guys doing? It's also um, another new month, and it is a December. Yapa doze doze, and I'm going to farmers get So, how are you guys doing? Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow, and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload on this channel each and every day, each and every hour. And so, uh, President Emerson Nangagwa, and it is yes, uh, uh, ED, the man if uh issued a full statement a statement regarding to workers day and the is Israel and of course uh, he's the president the man has to say something regarding to Nyaya and and, and uh, we were expecting him to say a lot of um, this and uh, during my by election campaigns but you know the man never said anything regarding to Nyaya and despite uh whereby uh my civil servants especially my teacher you know i'm going to strike which is when marriage i show my jambu good time business and so the men end up increasing 20 percent we all know those benefits when the uh free transport you know etc etc and so the men never addressed uh the chemo to ashanti during my campaigns uh in my by-elections so the men uh wrote on his uh facebook account and he said that uh through your hard uh honest work you are bringing the reality our nation no development matra and you can you know what and yeah going forward i urge the social partners to expedite the establishment of the zimbabwe national productivity institute which among other objectives i will drive the productivity consciousness across all sectors fellow zimbabweans a prosperous society is possible if you workers continue to play your part as a country we commend you for your efforts that have led to the present growth trajectory in our capacity utilization which is now at 66 percent through the hard honest work of our workers the zimbabwe economy is now graduated from stabilization to growth in this regard your dignity as workers your value wages and salaries must be commensurate with the resultant improving macroeconomic fundamentals employers are challenged to respect and honor the efforts being made by workers in modernizing industrializing zimbabwe the workplace should be a place of harmony and fulfillment occupational safety health and wellness programs must be pursued with great vigor it is also my expectation that workplace programs be prioritized to prepare workers for retirement meanwhile it is encouraging that the leadership of the labor movement now values the utility of social dialogue as the most efficient vehicle for finding solutions to our challenges, including those experienced by workers. To date, I've met the leaders of worker organizations, openly shared perspectives with them to move our country forward, guided by the national interests. As a listening president, my door remains open for more frequent engagements. Fellow Zimbabweans, it is regrettable that prices have of late been increasing due to imported inflation. My government remains seized with redressing the issue through comprehensive strategies to ensure that there is no erosion of disposable incomes. The second public is determined to retain the purchasing power of workers through a viable public transport system. Government will not stand by and watch while the hard-earned incomes of our workers are stolen by Mushika Shikas and Makoronera. No, you as our workers deserve an efficient and affordable transport system so that a production time as well as your family time is not lost in transport queues during peak hours workers must be transported with the greatest ease i therefore direct authorities at zupco and responsible ministry to hear this call and bring back order in the sector there are no residential areas which are more important than others all communities must be treated equally for this is the true meaning of our hard-won independence and current development drive that leaves no one and no place behind similarly the incident of non-remittance of payments for medical aid and patients for workers by organizations will not be tolerated i call upon workers to expose situations where they notice cases of corruption and more administration within organizations and institutes 
the new normal brought by the COVID-19 pandemic and the fourth industrial revolution requires that you, the workers, continuously improve your souls. It is now Im- imperative that you leverage on ICTs which have emerged as a new factor of production to broaden your opportunities. You must equally take f- up staff development programs within your workplace and our institutions of higher learning towards reskilling, upskilling and, and multi-skilling. Fellow workers, my government is aware of the decent work deficits being experienced by those in the informal sector. The responsible ministry is directed to quickly finalize the formalization strategy towards mainstreaming the decent work principles. I urge workers in the informal sector to always engage with the responsible ministry to speed up the formalization agenda while enhancing their participation in the mainstream economy. The National Social Security Authority must accelerate the establishment and implementation of programs for the inclusion of the informal sector in social security protection. The government will continue to respect workers' rights. As such, the Labour Amendment Bill is now before Parliament in line with our commitment to ensure fair labour standards for all workers in Zimbabwe. The bill is expected to further restore the dignity of workers by addressing some of the emerging challenges affecting workers. I challenge the leadership across all sectors of the economy to protect and advance the interests of all workers. The Ministry of Public Service, Labour and Social Welfare should take a more focused and visible lead in the protection of workers' rights, increase social protection coverage and reduce worker vulnerability occurred on putting in place robust mechanisms that improve working conditions must be highlighted. Allow me to also encourage those Zimbabweans in the diaspora to continue working hard in spite of many challenging circumstances they may face within their host countries. I just urge you to remain resolute and focus on achieving your personal and professional goals. Finally, as we celebrate this year's Workers' Day, let us remain mindful that the COVID-19 pandemic is still with us. Get vaccinated, continue wearing masks, sanitizing and maintaining social distance. No one is safe until everyone is safe. Going forward, in the line with the declaration of 2022 as the year of growth, the government will ensure that the improving so, uh, macroeconomic fundamentals translate to dignified life for workers. Together, through hard, honest work as a peaceful and united people, let us steadfastly continue on our journey towards attaining Vision 2030 and building the Zimbabwe we all want. With these remarks, I wish you all happy workers day and uh, this is coming from the president himself uh president emerson Mnangagwa. it's a good speech it's a good speech but you know the men didn't talk about naima salaries i mean my teacher wonder i mean everyone wants to hear good tea. uh what's next because you know he talked about uh, inflation which is true 100 percent true that uh most prices must show for our queer and uh, his life is now becoming difficult so what is happening to our salaries are you gonna increase marie so he didn't say anything regarding to that so which means that uh you know there are other ways other avenues uh that uh you know my organizations on military our shandy my civil servants are gonna reach out uh, to government go to us over the my salaries because 20 percent they are increase a year uh you know a few months ago i should think at the moment and yes 20 percent there they are on inflation with that as a person with answers when he it up increase i'm gonna april and i'm march it's like this time won't increase no inflation you grow as and yeah so the men talked about now is zupko because uh we've heard uh, a few days ago past social media my streets since is only my bars are around around this one my urban areas are around i changed this one airport where bars and the pf won there and they are so cool that's when my bars are around for any other area the money to occupy and i want to go my streets so the man is saying good tea uh yeah he actually addressed it uh indirectly he said that uh pana jumbo inonzi he like a coach of flying with jumbo and they should have to uh, reach out to the Ministry of Transport and also to Zopko that uh, all the urban areas, all the areas uh anima bars are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. 
but also na maprize acho wana nga chita wana ekutu munuwe kubodi hiru wende wana uti mcbd in harare kutu wana nga chita chukuma three dollars or so sometimes wantu zongo jambi ramu mshika shika pozo nungo sina choice anika nguwe kubasa nunga ya kukwana saka nungo sina choice so the man is talking about nyaya ima pensions anika yes i don't know what i mean for you if you look on how much most of our grandmothers and grandfathers are earning as a pension from national uh, social security authority on to go to the woman up and is a marry i mean they're earning less than uh you know 100 us dollar per month uno tenge na yo mario and the man is talking also about uh, the labor amendment bill which is now before parliament that uh you know it will also uh ensure a fair labor standards for all workers in zimbabwe do labor bill uh labor amendment bill yarambo na wacha misa wakati uh that labor amendment bill is not fully addressing the chemo and so guys this is some of the things that the men have said today which is the first of uh may uh, 2022 which is uh, international workers day zoare and so guys remember to like share comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here on this channel this is um daily news breaking news everyday news on prince mila entertainment tv Thank you for listening and watching. Have a blessed day. Bless up.